Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a holster video for you guys. This is on the Black Arc holster or Black Arch holsters. I guess uh, it depends how you say it. If you know exactly how it's supposed to be said, let me know. Um, anyway, let's jump right into the review. So it just came in normal packaging. And I say normal like a, like a manila envelope. Uh, this was a gift to me. So... Let me go over this first. So I'm not going to read all this. I will get it to focus. You guys can pause the video if you want to read that. Okay. And then on the back, same thing. Okay. All right. So let's put this down over there. All right. Comes with a little baggie here, which has a spare screw, I guess, in case you lose one. And then as you can see, Thank you for your purchase. And there you go. So you guys look them up uh, online. This is literally one of the best holsters I've ever used. And I would even venture to say it is the best holster I've ever used. Not just one of, the best holster I've ever used. I'll explain why in just a minute. All right, let's get to an overview of the holster. Now, I have used this. So this is sort of... An unboxing, even though I don't have the box, but it's also a review. Um, I haven't used it very long. I've only used it for maybe two weeks, um, so not very long, but uh, it is phenomenal. Um, so the first thing that you can tell is it's a hybrid holster, right? We got a leather backer, and this is leather, actual actual leather, and then we have a Kydex shell on the front. Now, um, this Kydex shell wraps around. You guys can see that right there. So it's not just, see on this side, how the Kydex is just, it's flush, right, with, with these uh, spacers. On this side, the Kydex wraps around so that your trigger guard is completely covered by Kydex. Uh, what does that do? Well, it provides better retention. It provides a more positive click. Um, you know, it, it just, I think it works better. I really do. Um, you can pick the color, the leather, they have brown or black. And then this mesh backer right here, they have a bunch of different colors. You guys can look at that. The Kydex shell has a bunch of different colors and patterns. Um, I got obviously the brown leather. I, uh, this is an OD green mesh backer and this is called cowhide. So it's meant to mimic leather a little bit. I like that look. I love the cowboy look, the cowhide look, whatever you want to call it. Um, I, I love that look just in general. So that's what I went with. Um, it comes with Two clips, okay, two clips. Uh, they obviously have three adjustment points, right? Okay. And then within that, on the clip itself, there's two adjustment points. So on this clip, you can see I have it in the top hole. On this clip, I have it in the bottom hole. And yes, I did that on purpose. What that does, it allows me to get a little bit more cant, okay? Instead of this way, it's just a little bit more cant. I do carry concealed on a on a cant. And the reason is I carry a SIG P320 with an 18 round magazine in it. So in order for me to conceal that, I have to cant it. Um, and and it's comfortable for me. I like that. I, I uh, enjoy it. I carry it every day, uh, that gun, which I'll put in the holster for you in a second. Um, Let's see, you can see down there, it's already started making marks on the leather and impressions. Okay. Um, obviously, all of these screws are adjustable. This screw right here is adjustable, obviously, for retention. Keep in mind, though, if you snug this down so tight, when you put it against your body, it's going to make it even tighter. And it's going to be, you know, a little bit more difficult to draw your weapon as well as to reholster your weapon. So just keep that in mind. This is something I love right on the back of the clip made in USA. And not just the clips. The, the entire holster is made in the USA. So I love that. Very, very comfortable. Two points of contact on the belt. I've done single point of contact on the belt. Uh, two points of contact on the belt. Belt slide holsters, paddle holsters. This by far 
is the best setup that I've ever used for concealed carry. Hands down, bar none. The back obviously has this mesh backer supposed to make it more breathable. Uh, this is suede, okay? The suede that they stitched on the back of the leather. You guys can see there's two layers there, obviously, leather and then suede, okay? Very nice, very well done. The only critique, I have one critique, and this is getting nitpicky, guys. So nitpicky. Right there, there's a thread where they tied it off, right? Where they were done sewing, you can see where these points meet, and there's just a little thread. I was going to take care of that with a lighter or a, a little match, and then I realized, I well, I'll save it, I'll do the video, and then I'll take care of it. So that's it. That's my only critique. That little thread. Right there. That's it. Um, other than that, this thing is it's flawless. All right, let me get the gun here. Like I said, I do carry a SIG P320. This is the compact version. Okay, I have a Hive Technologies. There you go, you can see it right there. Plus three base plate on there. So I carry 18 rounds. Obviously you could do 18 plus one. All right, let's go ahead and stick it in. There you go. And you, did you guys hear that click? Let me, let me do that again. All right, ready? Listen, ready? There, and it, there's a click right there. I don't know if you heard it as well that time. Let me do it one more time. There, and it clicks in. That's the benefit of having that Kydex wrap around the back. If that's not important to you, it's not important to you. It's not really important to me, it's just a nice feature. So, the gun fits awesome. Retention, I mean, is, is solid, rock solid. And yes, the magazine is full. For all you safety sallies out there, get over it. Um, proper gun handling, and you're not going to have any negligent discharges. And yes, I said negligent, not accidental. There are no accidents. There are negligence when a firearm goes off and you don't want it to go off. All right, off my soapbox. So there you go. It is not coming out. There's, it's not going to come out. And when it's against your body, it's even more uh, snug. It's got even better retention. All right, let me set my firearm to the side there. There you go. Uh, when I got this, it was perfectly flat. Obviously, it has started to contour to my body, as it will yours. So you guys, look these guys up. This holster is amazing. By far the best holster, like I said, that I've ever used for everyday carry, for concealed carry. It's comfortable, and something I really love about it is the gun stays where you put it. I have another holster. I'm actually going to do a comparison video of this holster against the holster I was using up until two weeks ago, and the holster I used every day, and I love that holster. However, it would not keep the gun where I put it. I was constantly having to adjust the gun slash holster. So, and I'll explain that in another video. So you guys stay tuned to the channel for that video. But I think that's about it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you have any experience with this uh, company, let me know. Good or bad, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. And until next time, you guys stay safe. God bless America.